Welcome back. Lab 130, Arguments and Mutability, is a little lab, and it's just here to really help you deeply understand what this mutability is about. Let's take a look at mutability calls. We have these two functions. We have manipulate. Now, some kind of a sequence comes in here, and I try to go to the one-th element of that sequence and put in some tomatoes. Because I want to try it on a list, down here on line 19, and a string, and a tuple, and a number, I will put them here in a tuple and test each of these things. First coming in is the list. So, test manipulate then has that list coming in, it reports it, and then it calls manipulate. Now I know that out of this I can get a type error with some more message. We'll see. Okay, the list comes in. The list having in the one item a T-bone. But after this assignment, item assignment, we have tomatoes there instead. And here we say, okay, we have tomatoes. It did not crash. Now this is coleslaw, the string coleslaw. Here's the one th item. Well, you can see right away you can't get any tomatoes in that O. But we try, and we'll get a type error, and it says, oops, coleslaw broke with, and let's see what the message. Object does not support item assignment. Item assignment, square brackets on the left of the equal sign. Well, here we have a tuple. Well, we could have tomatoes instead of peaches. Or can we? It's in a tuple. If it was square brackets, it would be a list, but it isn't, so it's a tuple. And we see we get that type error again. And what is the error? The same error does not support item assignment. And here I'm sticking in a number and also it does not support item assignment only lists so far okay you're on for a little exercise and it's no coding just to take a guess at what will happen you have two functions move and use now which one does item assignment the use, where you use the identifier that comes in with some square brackets to go in and change an item. This one, that label comes in with something on it, and we move the label over. So you predict what will happen in each of these. And I'll see you when you've given that five minutes.